Hey, what is up, duelists, and welcome back to another episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Rush Duels. Uh, as you can probably tell with my voice, uh, it's kind of disappearing. I've been, unfortunately, sick all today. I've actually slept the entire day, so my voice is kind of croggy and kind of disappearing, but... One sec. Oh, my bad. But yeah, I've been sick all day, but regardless, I want to try and get a video for you guys out. Uh... That being said, probably won't be the longest video today. Uh, I have not much energy whatsoever. Uh, so, but I didn't want to miss a day. I mean, I haven't missed a day yet. So I want to keep doing it. But I did run here. Uh, I kind of look around for the last episode. I did find out where I had to go. Uh, someone did actually tell me where to go to, but I actually figured it out. Because uh, I was looking in the uh, inventory. Uh, I was looking around at, uh, I think it was others. Oh yeah, Seven's characters. Because it was telling me someone was here. And, where is he? Oh yeah, Janko. Janko popped up, who I've never seen in my life, so I figured that's who I had to look for, and well, here you are, he's right here. So we're going to jump straight into it. I don't know how many duels we do, might do one, might do two. Uh, it might only be like a 20 minute video, uh, my voice is definitely dying, but as I said, I wanted to at least get something out for you guys. So well, we'll see how we go. Hi. I didn't expect to see you here. Are you rush dueling? We're here to rush duel too, but that's not the only reason. We're babysitting Luke so that he doesn't do anything crazy. I mean, too crazy. Fine, <laughs> right, let's rush duel. The next uh, King of Battle Royales, accept your challenge. Accept your challenge, there we go. Uh, no one's challenging you yet, Luke. Hey, you there. Huh, you're... If my eyes don't deceive me, I believe I'm looking at the first winner of the Battle Royale. I'm Janko. Entent? Pleasure to make your acquaintance. I have a humble request for... 444. Four, four. Uh-oh. Not now. If you would like to duel, I am always ready to duel. I'll be sure to draw many, many cards. I think you read that for me? I'm gonna skip on that. That's too many words put together. I need to draw a card before I lose control again. Let's rush duel. Having a great time. My, my guy seems to be freaking out a little bit. Oh, yeah, I remember this. He has what I know as draw deficiency disease and can't calm down unless he, uh, until he draws a card. Can you please duel him? It is the only cure, through, uh, though temporarily. I feel like that'd be a terrible thing to have, not gonna lie. Well, uh, use this. What it is. Yeah, so there's a four star deck. We'll see how we go. So he needs to draw a lot of cards, which means from the sounds of it, he's going to have a lot of let's just pull cards out of everywhere. So could be wrong, maybe not, but a lot of what it seems like. Uh, are you okay? Not the best hand to start off with, honestly. Well, I mean, we can just put a bunch in defense. You, from the looks of you, it looks like someone that would be a bully, but he really doesn't seem like a bully at all, but... I set a monster. I set a monster. Oh, we're getting a tribute straight off the bat. I'll set a monster. Nope, he's just playing defense. Okay. Oh great, he's got a face down. I feel like I should destroy that. I don't have anyone I really want to put down. I mean, obviously we're going to put him down to get just get him out of the way. I guess we'll do this. We're not really in a turn to be doing anything, so... Kind of got to do this. He's probably going to destroy one of those. I feel like that's what the face down card is, but it's fine. We just have to play defensive until we get a face, uh, a card that can actually do something. It's my turn. I draw. Then I'll 
My guy's freaking. Also, I will say, just because my voice is pretty low, I did lower the sound, just because, like, I can't speak as loud as I usually do. So I did lower the sound a little bit, but I hope it's not too low. Nope, it's not bad. Great. What do you do? Are you a lightweight? So the top card from your deck to the graveyard, gain 400 life points. Then, if you gain life points by this effect, you can add any number of blue machines from your graveyard to your hand. Interesting. Looks like I'm playing with a life steal stacker. Could be a little bit annoying, but it's fine. Hmm. This is actually really good for us, actually. We get both of them on the field. There we go. We actually got a really good hand that turn. So what do you do, by the way? Uh, well, this card is face up on the field. Face up insect, beast plants, and beast warriors. Yeah, we'll just destroy it anyway. Okay, we'll put you down first. I summon a monster. We'll do this. My well, homeboy's got rid of the card we don't want to get rid of. That would have been terrible. All right, well, we've got our two strongest cards on the field. And then, for the fun of it, let's just put you down. We're going to get rid of the face down first. Not that we really need to, because I doubt there's anything that can take on the two strong ones, but... Rather ruin their day anyway. At least I don't remind them, we'll just destroy. Let's just destroy the middle one, why not? I don't know what those. I feel like I've seen that card before, I don't know what it is. Let's just do this effect for the fun of it. See if maybe we get some more damage off. Oh no! Get rid of the card I didn't really want to get rid of. We stacked up some damage for sure. Okay, let's battle. Seven eight hundred. Okay. Go, seventh road magician. You still haven't quashed our rebellion. I'm wondering. Let me see what this guy will have, defense wise. Feel my spirit. You know what? We're gonna greed for it. We might take some damage here because it's probably gonna be higher defense. But we're just gonna check. Oh no! Yeah, it worked and got rid of his cards. I'll take that. And also, if he tries to attack me, we have my other card too, so we can destroy all his cards. That brings my turn to an end. I'm, I draw. Draw again. Oh, he's still playing the defense game. He's not going to attack anytime soon. I'm wondering if he has even any tributes. Because apparently, I think. Quite understand. Uh, the, the high school number six or whatever it is, like the strongest of the duelists, I think. That's what I was saying. I thought it would be a. I could be wrong. Maybe I'm just reading something else, but I think that's what it said. I was expecting it to be a little bit tougher, but yeah, it doesn't seem to be the case. Hey, if we can get my card, we can flip one monster off and start doing some damage that way. We did get it. We'll do that. 
We can ruin one of you. We can ruin his day by just slowly taking life points this way. Get rid of the cat. First of tributes, if we need a stronger monster, we can. Let's go this one. Let's do it again. Get some more big damage off. That I'm fine with. That doesn't really affect us too much. Alright. Big damage we go again. Okay, let's battle. 32 we hit him with. God damn. My guy's uh, struggling a little bit. I'm still waiting to see a tribute. He's supposed to be at a strong school, and yet I'm yet to see one strong thing. I could use his effect and just destroy a monster, but nah. Still want to win us the game. Alright, well that's good mean no. Maybe we could have done some damage to him, but I'm fine. We should be able to win next uh, next uh, turn. Maybe. I don't think he'll put down I mean he might have three monsters still, I don't know. But he's finally tributing. He does have a tribute, it seems. What is it, though? Oh, it's this. Alright, I'm fine with that. It's not going to be able to kill me. Won't be able to kill me. So we should be able to end next turn anyway. Oh, oh my god. Once you exit, it should go away. He's got the... The weedle thing. Alright, let's see. What will he go with? Oh. A guy is summoning. Not well. I activate my monster's effect. Wait, what do you do again? Uh, if your life points are lower than your opponent's, pay 500 life points. Send the top three cards from your deck to the graveyard. If a psychic monster is among the cards sent, one psychic monster is added from the graveyard to the hand. I'm fine with that. Because we still win next turn anyway. Let's see, will he go? Will he fall for the abate? If I want to draw again, I have to yep. Slide. He's going for it. I knew I All right, that duel was a really pushover duel. It really wasn't that tough. He didn't get a tribute till like the very end. Let's just get my cats. And then we'll get you. Alright. And that's his turn done. What? And now we go for the win. Get one of those. You know what? Just for the fun of it. Now, what, I mean, I was gonna, I was tempted to use the effect of uh, Seven's Right Magician, but uh... oh yeah, I forgot I can't put it on you. Ah, well, I still end with this anyway. I keep forgetting it only works on spellcasters, and that's a machine. You can't stop me from winning this duel. All right, well, there we go. Pretty easy duel, not gonna lie. Really easy. I will say, this guy does not... His personality is not anything like I thought it would be. Ooh, got a bunch of ants. Lovely. We have a Dark Magician here, don't we? I think we do. I think we got her from uh, Rio. I think it was a Rhino. Reno. Yeah, thank you, my friend. Your dueling has settled my soul. My name is Janko Entent, student council president of Goha Six Elementary. 
This guy more looks like a high school kid than an elementary kid, but it is what it is. I like to duel, but I love to draw. That's why I do a rush dueling, because I can draw many cards at once. Since I can rush duel anywhere and any time during the Battle Royale, I'm more than overjoyed. When I win the next Dream Maker ticket, I'll wish for the rule change to allow us to draw 40 cards per turn. <laughs> I mean, seems a little over the top, but okay. At least that was my dream. But then Heavily Cavalier Duel Club have also entered the Battle Royale. Draw 40 cards? You've run out of cards in your deck in a single turn. The Heavy Cavalier Duel Club is the elite of the elite at Goha 6 Elementary. Even though I'm the school president, they run all over like uh, they run all over little ants like myself. That's why I've been searching for duelists that can stand up to their tyranny. A powerful duelist like you, please defeat the Heavy Cavalier Club for justice. Asana. Who's Asana? Is in the tournament? Oh, I'm guessing that's one of the uh, Cavalier people, right? This is gonna be fun. The Heavy Cavalier Duel Club is a battle ro is in the Battle Royale. I don't like the sound of that. Wait, that's actually someone Luke doesn't want to duel? Wow. Allow me to explain. Goha 6 Elementary School's Heavy Cavalier Duel Club uh, are expert duelists. Their leader is Asana. Yuga has rush dueled her before. Yuga won barely. If Asana is entering the Battle Royale, she must have a wish she wants granted. I wonder what it could be. Whatever it is, with her superior skills and wyver wyvern monsters, I have no idea. She was a, she has a good chance of it coming true. I can't wait to duel Asana again. When you're ready, let's head over to the Goha Six Elementary. You can now go. Oh, well, there we go. We unlocked it. Oh, sweet. We've got a title too. I mean, I guess we go over. Is there not anything up in the top right corner? I feel like that place is just so naked compared to the rest of the map. I really wish if they... Well, I don't know. They might. If they have DLC for this, I hope they add in more areas to duel. Oh, wow, their score is so much more better than ours. Oh, wow. Can I have a look around? Oh, so there is a wall here. I think there's any items I can find. Oh, this is really, uh, it's a box. Good to know. It's just a straight box. These kids look like middle school kids. It really doesn't look like there's any items around there, eh? Go out 6 Elementary. Sure brings back memories. Yeah, not all of them are good. I remember how they forced us to tra uh, transfer to this school and made us live in a decrypted, uh, descript, I have no idea, dorm. It was horrible. <laughs> really? Unlike you, I had a great time. Of course he did. Is this a teacher? This guy looks like a teacher. Is that the whippersnapper who won the battle royale? Welcome to the Goha 6 Elementary. What? Hey beard bro, where's Asana? That's beard? I thought that was just his hair hanging down. Okay, I guess he's got a beard. That's not a beard, Luke. Those are sideburns. Those are uh, very uh, thick for a sixth grader. I was right. Not a beard. It's six. It looks more like a teacher, though. You wish to play with our princess? And you gotta get past me first. The name's Galleon, heavy hitter of the Heavy Cavalier Duel Club. It's tradition in this school that, uh, that if someone challenges you to a duel, you have to accept. That's right, so unless you defeat him, we can never see Asana. Alright, I guess we'll do this and we might end it here. Just because my voice is really struggling to keep up here. Uh, I'm gonna dig me uh, up a victory. Let's rush duel. Guess we'll just use this again. He's got a four star. These are like some freak of nature six uh, elementary school kids. They all look like they're adults. Okay, well, we lost. Please don't make me go first. Of course I am. I can't 
close against this grown up. I won't let the best We're in an interesting spot here. At least we can put down a tribute. I get to go first. Check out my spirit. I draw. Uh nah, we'll go with this. I summon a monster. I don't know what to expect from his deck, so I'm just going in there. Ah, oh, blind. Hopefully he won't destroy the cards that I put down. I tribute one monster to tribute summon. Gonna put you down first. Just pretty much as a bait, so if he tries to destroy it, I think we're gonna have to rely on dark uh revelation. All right, that's the best we're gonna get. Hopefully, it's not gonna. Uh, hopefully, it won't destroy everything on the field. Time to die, draw. I set a monster. He literally sounds like a teacher. A Please don't be his two-star tribute. It's gonna be miserable. Oh, there we go. All right. Well, we're going up against his uh, ace card, I'm guessing this is. Shield Boring Kong. Weird name, but okay. <laughs> Just called him Boring. Have we versed this before? No, we haven't. He's got a face on his chest. Well, this could be uh, a rough battle for sure. Enemy sighted. Commencing battle. We're just gonna use it straight up. Oh wait, I actually can't use it until. Here's on five hundred. No, he's still gonna be stronger than me. Oh whatever. Shield, boring, uh, we're gonna take damage here. There's not really much we can do about it, fortunately. It's fine. We should be able to kill it next turn. I'm hoping, anyway. Can you survive this direct attack? I'm hoping, at least, anyway. Well, now we have two monsters in there. I wasn't sure if maybe you could use it without having four monsters in the grid. No, you actually need four monsters. Which does make things a little bit more of a pain in the ass, but it, it's fine. We're not out yet. Hmm. Trying to think how to go about this. I summon a monster. I tribute one monster to tribute summon. Yes. We just use this. We can at least we can destroy it this way. Get rid of you. Might put the other one down defense just to uh, stay on the safe side of things. All right, but we can take it out now, which is good. Put you down defense. I set a monster. Yeah, I guess we just put you down just to free up some space. All right, let's kill this card while we can. Another card I'm not too worried about. This one, on the other hand, could be annoying. Alright. I'll take that. I don't think we're going to get a much better turn than that, honestly. I didn't even see what his effect was. I should have checked that. That brings my turn to an end. Time to dig you up. It's my turn. I draw. Hopefully he won't get another tribute. That would be the dream, but I mean, we know how this game can turn out. There's a good chance it probably will. I activate the oh, he's got this. Of course, out of all cards, he's got this. The one that weaks, weakens me. I'll set a monster. I 
Does he have another Kong in his hand? He actually does. My guy just keeps summoning things. Okay. Well, if this guy's down, we should ne next turn we should have enough to uh, actually kill his cards, so. Oh, he does have an attack. Wait, what does he do? During your main phase, if you normal or special summon this card, destroy one face up defense mission monster on your field. On your opponent's field. If you do, this card destroys it. Oh. Oh, this is gonna suck, isn't it? It's gonna take 2,700 damage, I think it is. I set a card. I set a card. Yeah, this card's annoying. Of course, he, as soon as I kill one, he draws, draws another one. Oh, wait, it does actually activate now. It actually works for us then. Can't use it again, but we destroy it. Gonna get you. Oh, these. Not really much. Not really too many useful cards, but we need to do something here. That's way too much damage that I'm willing to take. Alright, well, there we go. Got rid of that card at least. Boy, that was a... If he pulls out the third one, that's going to be annoying as hell. Yeah, we're going to do this. And now we're going to destroy that card on the side. I don't care about his face down cards, it's the card on the side that's gonna probably screw me over. Right, hopefully, uh, hopefully he won't get a second one of them because they're just so annoying to deal with. Actually, we can do these and lower the attack down by a thousand. Oh wait, I don't know if I can activate them both. Maybe that probably wasn't a wise idea. All right, well, whatever. We're attacking now anyway. There we go. How could I let that happen? Got some good damage off there, I'll take it. I didn't like that. Now we just need more cards in the graveyard so I can just des uh, destroy it again. I feel like he's gonna have a third one. So far he's picked one up every turn. I end my turn. I've been in worse situations than this before. It's my turn. Okay, he has uh, confidence, I see. I'll set a monster. I will take that. That actually helps us out. Uh, uh, cannot speak. Helps us out. We got one on the field, we don't need a second one. <laughs> also, we got three of these Hydro Magicians. Of course we do. I don't think we could end this turn, but we can at least dish out some good damage to him. I think he just survives, if I'm not miscounting. Keep the other one in our hand. Just in case this one gets destroyed, we have another one for backup. Right, well now we attack. I don't think yeah, I don't wait, do we? I should bring this duel to an end. I think we just win. Or am I miscounting things? No, we just win. Okay. Well there we go. We win. My maths wasn't off. There we go. I don't know how many. I, I'm guessing Asana is the last one, right? Do we only have one more duel before the end of this, at least, anyway? 
you knowing shield card. Interesting deck though. Ancient Arise Dragon. That dragon does look sick though. Alright, well, we did it. Well done, young un. But I can't let you pass on though. You best take a detour. It's fine, Galleon. Princess. I knew you'd show up, Yuga. And she, uh, I don't know why I said she. And you brought a friend, a tournament winner friend. That's the leader of the Heavy Cavalier, uh, Duel Club, Asana Matsu Masuba. Asana, I heard you entered the Battle Royale. But why? To fix my heavy ca uh, heavy machinery. But you can not only fix them, he modded them for you so, uh, so that they'd work again. Allow me to explain. Asana loves her classic heavy heavily Heavy duty vehicles, no matter how old they are. But it's hard to find replacement parts. Goha agreed to ma uh, manufacture them as long as Asana eliminates rush duels. But Yuga came up with a different solution and jury rigged a bunch of random parts to upgrade her machines. What? Silence, everyone. R6 has something to say. Yes, yes, I see. You're right, R6. All I hear is the sound of an engine. I used to think the old ways were the best, so I didn't like change, but I was wrong. When Yuga modified my heavy machinery so that they could ride once again, I learned that not all change is bad, but there's something about the classics that never get old. Look at there, these cylinders. Look at these sprockets. They don't make, uh, they don't make them like this anymore. These me uh, mechanical parts are works of art. I can marvel in them all day. Asana really loves her machines. That's one thing that will never change. I think she loves them even more than before. So maybe things do change. We're going to use the Dream Maker ticket to uh, mass produce more of these classic parts. But to win the prize, we know the road will have to go through... Uh, let me read that. But to win the prize, we know the road will have to go through you. So it's great that you came to us before it saved us the trouble of finding you. And even if there was no ticket, I still wouldn't, uh, I still would have wanted to rush door against the battle royale champion. No. Princess, shh, don't say that, or they'll wonder why I tried to stop them from meeting you. What? <laughs> oh, value potion, shush. Sure, sure. Uh, Gallivan's having it rough. If you're able to defe uh, defeat Galleon, you're a duelist worth dueling, but you will not block me from my dream. Uh, we'll do that tomorrow if it allows me. You refuse my challenge, you have no heart. If you're challenged by the duel, you are required to accept its tradition. Oh, I'm gonna have to do it, aren't I? Once you're ready, you. Uh, Oh, I can actually save it for tomorrow. Uh, we will do that tomorrow. Tomorrow looks like it might be a small episode. Uh, I'm hoping my voice will be back tomorrow because at the moment it is uh, very tiring on my... <laughs> Too much talking on a, on a voice that's disappearing is a little rough. But yeah, I do hope you enjoyed this episode. I do apologize for the fact that my voice is croaky and just just off. Uh, I do hope it wasn't too boring for you guys. Uh, but I mean, we got to meet... Some of the uh, the elementary six. I mean, we got Jankos, we got Gall Gallivan, I think his name was. I keep forgetting his name. And then we got Asana, which I'm definitely looking forward to doing. Uh, but it looks like she might be an episode of herself. Uh, so we'll see what goes for there. We'll take her on tomorrow. And then uh, if we end up finishing the story tomorrow, we might start moving on to some online battles or something. Or we'll, we'll figure something out when that time comes. But yeah, I do hope you enjoyed this episode. I'll be back in tomorrow finishing off, hopefully, this story. I think she's the last one. And yeah, we'll see how it goes. Until then, take care and peace out.